Hello Crafty Llamas, today I'm going to be showing you how to do half double crochet which is the in-between stitch of double crochet and single crochet. So I have got my 7mm higher higher crochet hook and I have got this rather funky and poorly wound ball of rainbow yarn that I'm going to be using. It's going to be really fun and hopefully we should be able to see all our stitches really clearly because it's super colourful. So I've got my yarn. I'm going to start with my slip knot. So if you've watched any of my videos before, I always start by showing you how to do a slip knot. So you just wind it over your two fingers like that, turn it over and then poke that through like that and then you just pull up and there you've got your slip knot, like so. And so hook in and pull tight, just like so. So we're gonna start with our foundation chain. So we're gonna do chain 15 to begin with. And 15. So there is our foundation chain of 15 stitches. Quite a big one but because it's quite chunky on it shouldn't take too long so what we're going to do next is our turning chain so the turning chain gives you the height of the stitch so we're doing a half double crochet um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to chain two so we're going to chain a further two stitches so one and two these two stitches are going to make the height of your of your stitch so almost I've just kind of turned them there so you can see how tall it's going to be and then in the third hook from your chain is where we're going to crochet. So first of all, yarn over and then insert into that third, third chain from your hook. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over. And if you're doing a double crochet, you would pull through just two loops and then pull through a further two loops. But because what we're doing is a half double crochet, we're going to pull through all three loops on your hook. So essentially it creates a really chunky single crochet. So we're going to do that again, so yarn over, hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, just like so. Pull that nice and tight, and that is how you do your half double crochet, so let's do that a couple more times together. Yarn over, into the next stitch, like so, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, like that, so yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, and this is what you get. So we're just going to keep going for a little while longer, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, just like that. So I'm going to let you do that in your own time. Oh, I'll just start to do a double crochet there. That's a habit. So like I said, this is quite a compact version of a single crochet. So because you're yarning over an extra time, it just creates a really compact one. So it's quite a thick stitch. It's got a lot to it at the back. And as you can see, these V's really, really clearly on the top as well, which is really pretty. So once again, just carry on really enjoying this yarn. I found it in the stash, so I don't really know where it's from, but it's um, definitely one I quite like. I have to try and find the yarn ball for it, or the ball band even. There we go. And just keep going till you get to the end, and I'll show you what we do when we get to the end. It's just going to be a turning chain like you did at the beginning. So that is the end of my first row, um, obviously it's quite a bit longer than my other swatches but that's just because I've done the same number of uh, chains but uh, it's just with a much chunkier yarn and hook. So as you can tell here, I've got all my stitches, it looks quite similar to kind of single crochet um, but it is just a tiny bit thicker, so it's hard to tell in comparison because they're quite different in size. But here you've got your single crochets and you can tell there's kind of gaps and stuff there. And this one, it's quite a bit thicker. So you can see it's just that little bit different. 
so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to start our second row so you're going to want to do your turning chain so because it is a half double crochet what you want to do is do your turning chain of two one two pop that round like so yarn over and then we're just going to go straight into that first stitch and like that and there is your first stitch of the row so um, should have another 14 to go so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that is correct so in this case I'm not counting our turn and chain as part of our stitch count um, whereas in other videos I have or I haven't but I'm pretty sure I've made it quite clear whether I have or I haven't so and once again so yarn over hook in yarn over yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook probably could have used a slightly larger hook um, but I had the 7mm on my desk so that's what we're going with today so obviously you just keep going in this way yarn over in yarn over yarn over again and pull through all the loops on your hook and then just into that last stitch on the end of your right and pull through and there we have two rows of half double crochet in some rather chunky yarn which I'm still absolutely loving it is gorgeous so once again at the end of row you want to get ready for the next row so you want to do your chain two before you turn and you turn it yarn over into the first stitch just like so and off we go so when you're doing stitches like this with turning chains, um, they are sometimes counted in your stitch count and sometimes the turning chains aren't counted in your stitch count. So it's always handy to kind of double check the pattern. If it isn't listed as counting, I would always assume it doesn't count. Um, in which case you'd always go into the first stitch of the previous row. Otherwise, um, if you're turning chain does count you'd go into the second stitch because that first one counts I'll just split my arm there so I'm just going to pull that through like so there we go and then we're just going to go it can be a bit tricky to find that last one it can be a little bit tight so let me show you here we go this is where I've got to so I've got my last one and then my last one is just this yellow one at the end here so yarn over pop through like that don't be afraid to kind of use your fingers to find those those gaps because it can be tricky at times so I'm actually really loving how this yarn is coming out I just picked it because it looks really colorful and figured it might be nice so that we could see the stitches but it's coming out really fun so this is what I mean about the turning chain so if I show you here if your turning chain counted as stitch you'd have your two here and then you'd go into the second one like that that would work best for things like your um, double crochets whereas half double crochet you want to quite compact so that's going to be quite gappy in comparison to the ones below but because it's not counting as a stitch we've got our chain two in these kind of pink colors one two yarn over and into the first stitch which is that blue one just underneath there we go i want to do a double crochet there which is um why i hesitate a little bit So this is what your work looks like after a couple rows. I think we've got three rows there, two, three, four, actually we've got four. Um, so this is what it looks like. You've got your kind of wrong side rows here. Um, but yeah, this is your half double crochet. So I'm just gonna keep going for a while and I will come back to you once I am close to the end. This is gonna take me a little while because if you kind of look at how big it is, it's going to be quite a big square. So I'm just going to come back to you later. Um, yeah. So what we've got here is our finished half double crochet swatch. Um, all I've done at the end is instead of chaining one to create the right height for your stitch, or chaining two even, 
I have yarned over and pulled through just to secure that nice and tightly on the end. So the next thing will be just to kind of sew in the ends and then once we have that, we are all done. So the things that I have used today are literally just a couple of bits and bobs. So I have used my higher, higher seven mil crochet hook. Here in a nice blue, which is very nicely color coordinated. And then my absolutely must when knitting my, or crocheting, my unicorn rainbow scissors from Higher High Europe. So those are the things that I've used today, and then I just used this random yarn that I found in a box in my stash. So yes, that is everything. If you like this video, please do comment, like, and share it. Um, you can find us on social media if you search Crafty Llama UK. We are on um, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest how-to videos and project videos. They're a lot of fun, I promise. We'll keep it nice and entertaining. And um, don't forget, you can get and all the products that we've used in our videos, except for the yarn, on our Etsy shop, which is Crafty Llama UK. Until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye!